October 17th, 2016, Ronnie's 65th birthday. How would you describe Ronnie Page? Oh my gosh, how would I describe my brother? Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, sir, what's up? What's going on with oh, me? How you doing? Oh, man? <laughs> what's up, man? What's up, what's up? Dude, what's you're kind of famous, what's up? man. What's up? What's up? Man, man, I want to steal you. I want to steal you, man. You want to steal you? I want to steal you. I'm, I'm coming back. back. I'm, I'm coming you. back. I'm going to steal your ass, man. You ain't going to go nowhere. You go on with me with you where I go. With me? Put it in the bag. Where you going, man? Where you going, man? You don't want me to leave. Where you going? I guess if you say so, oh, I got to pack my bags and go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>I got the absolute craziest email this morning, guys, from Bernard Page. There is a, there is a reason why my son, there's a reason why he was searching you know, on the internet and, and found his uncle. It warmed my heart, warmed my heart, to see that someone cares for him. December 30th, I was in a car accident, totaled my car. Wow. Uh, really, I shouldn't be here. I mean, wow. I, it, it should have just destroyed me. The universe has a plan, so there's a reason why I stuck around. Yeah. Um, I think one of them is to right a wrong. You know, he was incarcerated for so long, and then society is not going to help him, you know, allow him to get a job because we don't believe in rehabilitation. We believe in punishment forever as a country, and that's just wrong. Yeah. If people make mistakes, it's how you bounce back from those mistakes and, and, and move on with the rest of your life. Shit happens. You just got to deal with it. But here's the thing. You can deal with it easier if you know that I'm behind you with love. And he needs to know that somebody loves him. Because I don't think right, the only person he thinks right now that loves him is you. And if he knows that I love him, if I can show him that I love him, then perhaps he will turn it around. I'm not a big religious guy, but if there's a God, there is a name in a book somewhere with your name in it. There's got to be a, a book somewhere with, you know, God in heaven that has your name in it that says, this guy is something. This kid, I, I gotta believe that. I know God is real. We spoke on the phone for a long, long time, and everything that Bernard told me matched what Ronnie had told me through the years. Oh, this. That. That is, if that's not a sign, I don't know what it is. Spotify wouldn't work on my phone, so we just put on a random radio station. It was a Christian radio station, and then that song comes on. Come on. All right, right there. What's happening? What's going on now with you? <laughs> How you doing now, buddy? <laughs> I'm Dude. just hanging in now, man, trying to make the best out of my day, man. So far, so good, man. Been working out all right, man. You know, hopefully keep on working out like this. Hell yeah. If it do, then I'll be a much better person than I am today. You know, but right now we're trying to work on it. He's working, and he's working hard, too. I'm working pretty hard, too, man. His uh, head injury has improved a million times over. I yeah. think last time you guys saw him, it was uh, on the Disney trip, I think, and it was... Yeah, yeah, it was uh, uh, I and mean, it was beat up, man. Yeah, beat, up, beat up, man. Beat up, man. Now is the spirit's back to looking good. And if I can, can I tell him? Mm -hmm. He hasn't been drinking. Hey, Ronnie. Hey. How you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? You know who this is? Uh-uh. This is Bernard, your brother. How you getting up? Yeah. Hi, yeah. How you doing, Bernard? Good. Who's this guy? Well, computer guy. I want to be on this video. Yeah. <laughs> you see, man? The yeah. world is so he found you through the videos, man. Yeah, man. Would it be okay? I want to ask you, would it be okay if I came yeah. down and looked in on you once in a while? It'd be all right, man. It'd be all right. <laughs> You're you right. my big little, you're my big little brother, so I gotta do what I can if I can. Yeah. 
I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't find you. You got a lot of people out here rooting for you. Oh, yeah, no. A lot of people rooting for you. A lot of people. Yeah, man. Millions of people. You can end up being a beacon of hope for a lot of folks. Yeah. And uh, then when I was younger, when I was a little boy, yeah, you can be my, you know, yeah. be, one of, be one of my heroes again. <laughs> we can come across and uh, and keep that keep that running smile on your face. <laughs> Shortly after that conversation, Bernard made plans to come visit his brother in September. Hey brother, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. Did you get your haircut? I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't... What are you doing? I saw you your hair, it's like, what? what? What's going on there? What? what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> August 1st, 2016, I feel like shit. I... I was in Prague uh, shooting some videos for you guys and uh, I... I get a message from Bernard. He just informed me that Ronnie passed away. The... Uh, If anybody knows the deceased Ronnie O'Neill Page, and I'm like, deceased <sighs> Ronnie O'Neill Page. <laughs> deceased Ronnie O'Neill Page, like, who sends a letter in the mail to say that it's okay. somebody passes away? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't send nobody a letter in the mail to say that their loved one has passed away. Like, that's just cool. It was like having the rug pulled out from underneath you, you know? Um, because you're, you're trying so hard. And, well, you, you get this gift, and you have your person here, you have all these plans and all these uh, strategies to help. I was planning on coming out, and uh, time, time ran out, didn't it? That message hit me like a truck. Let's know that Barry was fortunate with us right now. Please give Ronnie many, 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 many more years of life. Thank you for everything you have given us, and thank you for this time that we're able to spend together. Amen. God gave him that power. God gives us everyone power. Where are you, my buddy? You, my buddy, man. Shit, all right. For life. Yeah, I do our thing. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Ron. Yeah. Make a wish, make a wish, make a wish. I go over and always and every day. Make it. Blow it. Yeah. Ah, anyway. I, I chose to numb it down, come back to the States, and Routini and Bernard came, and uh, obviously I didn't film any of it for obvious reasons. It was... <laughs> Genetics are a crazy thing, man. Bernard has Ronnie smile. We went down to the morgue because we had to identify the body, and that was... That was rough, man. Oh my god. Behind a glass wall, like he, he's laying on this cold slab by himself. Like I can't even, I couldn't even rub, I, I couldn't even rub my brother. I, I couldn't touch his face. You know what I'm saying? Like all I could see was my brother laying on the slab with a tube still stuck in his nose. I want to say to you, Danny. I want to say thank you for helping me through it. <laughs> Because I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Because of you, like when I close my eyes and I, I think about my brother, I think about those videos. And that's what, when I talk about my brother with my family, I share that with them and I tell them to go to YouTube and look you up. And you know what my family says? They thank you because now they can go to those videos as often as they want 
and they get to see Ronnie. You pulled the family back together. I don't know if you realize that, but uh, unintentionally, um, but I think everything happens for a reason. You pulled the family back together. Because of you, I don't have to, I don't have to think about that memory of my brother lying on that slab for the rest of my life. You gave me something to hold on to. You showed us Ronnie. You gave us Ronnie. You gave us me back, brother. What was a good way to celebrate the life of Ronnie Page, my brother? They came out here and that day was, it was absolutely beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. They brought $200 worth of $5 bills, which is $45 bills. And, and we made these cards, these little cards, there's a <laughs> this picture on it. And it said, uh, Ronnie wanted you to have this. We lost a good friend and brother on July 26th. Uh, he was a member of this community and always had a smile for you. And we handed out these cards of five dollar bills to, to folks, to homeless folks. And you know, just as a, to, as, as a way to, to think of Ronnie. But on the back of the card was this: When you're ready, reach out to the Los Angeles Homeless Services Authority. We offered um, the community a place to go and, and to get help. The people we were giving them to were so shocked by this incredible act of beautiful kindness. I was looking at how people was looking at him and was afraid to hug him and afraid to touch him. Yeah. And it's like, they're human beings and that's not what God wants. God wants us to love everybody. So we gave 40 folks a gift and if one of those 40 folks uh, sought help, then it was all worth it for us. Completely. I would always recommend giving food and not cash to the homeless, but that was what they wanted to do and it was absolutely beautiful. It was so, 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 so beautiful. At the time that I created the campaign, I was completely unaware of Ronnie's criminal record. And so once Ronnie gave me his social security number so that we could find a place for him to live, um, every place would deny him. First, because of the criminal record, and second, because of the homelessness status, which is really crazy. How are they supposed to not be homeless if, you, if you're not gonna give them the ability to have a home? And for a crime that was committed over 40 years ago, no place would take it. Imagine him. if we were judged by the one mistake we made for our whole lives. Imagine that. Imagine that for a minute. You make one mistake and you judge for that for your whole life and it affects you. You can't get a job, you can't find a place to stay, you can't be homeless. Both of these families are uh, not wealthy by any means and so... Uh, you know, I gave him the, the entire amount plus a uh, donation on my part and... Uh, they really appreciate it, guys. They really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone that was kind enough to donate for Ronnie's fund back in 2014. Ronnie loved everybody. Ronnie loved everybody. He just needed a shot. He, he worked hard, but he just really, after that mistake, he never got a fair shot at anything. This just goes to show the power, the incredible power of YouTube, the incredible power of the internet, and how even though I lost a brother, I gained a new brother and sister. And they're awesome. They're coming back to LA to visit me and their families are coming too. And it's two families literally uniting because of this one guy. And it's not only us. That would be very selfish to say. It's you guys. It's not only the family, sis. It's not only the family, Iris. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> I, I see you, girl! I see you! <laughs> it's for millions of people that have connected with Ronnie's story. He was around for 64 years. His legacy will live on forever. That's, and that's an awesome thing. Ronnie led such a beautiful life and with such short resources, he was able to bring so much happiness to people and that's what we should remember. When the world was cruel and mean to him, you, you showed him love. And, and that's what it's all about. By pulling you into his life, uh, allowed him to touch even more people. To see, to us, time is love. And when you give up your time, people can say all day long, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. It's like when you stop what you're doing in your busy life to spend time with us, or you spend time with my brother, and you're a very busy man. But you took the time out of your busy schedule to spend time with my brother. That meant you loved him. When you find that peace, when you find that inner strength that is yours, no matter what you call it, some folks call it Jesus, some folks call it
calling, Yahweh, Snowbo's calling, Muhammad, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to find it, it's, it's your peace. When you find it, you can do anything. But well, man, once you enhance something, man, I'm telling you, man, it's not no heights that you cannot reach. All right, everybody here, go ahead. I'm so excited to see you again. Huge hug and thank you. And I love you guys. All right, love you too, brother. Thank you. I want to personally thank you for being such a great friend and brother to him and that being a great friend and brother to me. So. I love you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you, bro. Time is so limited on this earth. But it is what you do with this time that affects the people that come after you. So. You're not going anywhere, man. I got this one. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> he going nowhere. He going with me. His heart. He had a huge heart. He loved everybody, and he made people <laughs> smile wherever he went. He had a heart of gold. It was like he, Ronnie, like my mom, never met a stranger. Hey. Well, I wish the whole world would have a lovely, lovely life. And wish the longevity of the world keep on going and going and keep on and on and on. Sorry. <laughs> Good night, man. All right, baby. Happy birthday, Bill. 63 and going strong, man. 63 and going strong. <laughs> there you go. Already. I love you, Jeff. I love you too, man. Yeah, you know, I love you too, man. I gotta grab one.